so stay tuned. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be needed today or tonight. However, snowfall amounts will be appreciated over the mountains. The 2 p.m. observations around central Colorado. At Keystone, the temperature was 25 degrees, the dew point 19, and the relative humidity 77%. The wind was north at one mile an hour. At the top of Copper We just had some, uh, falling. some good snow come through here. Hey everybody, my name's Sean. You're watching Indigo Visuals. Thank you for checking my station out. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I just, I live in a beautiful area and I want to show you guys what we go through up here. Because... It's different than anywhere else I've ever lived. So I'm gonna put on the weather radio and just kind of enjoy the views, guys. I think we picked up about 12 inches last night. The wind was out at five miles an hour. In Granby, fair and 28 degrees. The wind was southwest at seven. And currently partly sunny and 30 degrees. Around the rest of Colorado. It let them cloudy and 24. Eagle partly sunny and 36. At Aspen, light snow and fog and 28. In Grand Junction, cloudy and 41. Craig partly sunny and 26. Walden, fair and 27. The wind was west at 13. At Denver, it was 54 and fair. The wind was west at 13. And in Colorado Springs, fair and 48. Here is the forecast for the valleys of Summit and Grand Counties. Winter weather advisory in effect until midnight Mountain Standard Time tonight. Today, snow likely. Snow accumulation up to 3 inches. Highs 28 to 34. So we're located here in the Rocky Mountains, about an hour and a half. Almost two hours, depending on the uh, conditions of traffic. Mostly cloudy with but, um, yeah, it's a beautiful place, for sure. Wednesday, we get a lot of snow. I mean, it's only December 6th today, is it? Yeah, December 6th, and look at how much snow we have already. There's some people ice fishing over there on the right-hand side. I'm not sure if you can catch it or not. They've got uh, they've got a hole dug in the ice because it does get cold here at night with it below zero easily. The lakes will freeze. That's a big sport up here, along with snow snowmobiling as well. So, all right, we're coming into Fraser now, and I'm going to run up to the Tubing Hill. So we'll get a back, little back view of the Tubing Hill and around the area. When I turn, just look at the hills in the background. I mean, it's the beauty of these hills that keep us here for sure. Wednesday, chance of snow in the morning, then snow likely in the afternoon. All right, we're coming into Fraser. Actually, downtown Fraser. We were actually in Fraser about a mile ago. Snow 60 percent. Wednesday night, snow likely. Lows 7 to 17. And the next left is the turn up to the Tubing Hill. Chance of snow 60 percent. Here is the extended forecast. So if you see cars covered in snow, that's actually against the law. You have to clean the snow off your car as much as possible. Cause a, a hazard. And say hi to everybody. Hope you're all doing well, getting ready for Christmas. Now just look at this view to the left. I mean, gosh, imagine living here. You know, and I get to see this place every day in just a different form. So, yep, we're taking this road here. This is where you go to the Tubing Hill off of County Road 40. And there's actually two tubing hills. The one's the Colorado Adventure Park, that's a little further over. Um, we encourage you to check out both hills. We've heard great reviews about ours. We've heard good reviews about the other, only they have a few more rules than we do. Um, there you go, there's a tubing hill right ahead. So you wanna turn when you see the sign, the historic Fraser tubing hill. Take a left right here, we're gonna go out this road. Yeah, this is County Road 72 in Grant County. There's a snow plow, snow truck. That's a busy job this time of year for sure. But I mean, 
I live in a postcard. We live in a postcard. And it, I tell you what, I've been close to leaving this place a few times. And I'm really glad that I have it. I've stayed, I've worked it out, I've gotten better, and I continue to get better. So, all right, we're here at the Tubing Hill, right across from the cemetery, in case somebody gets hurt. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm completely kidding. But I'm gonna run up here for a minute and uh, thanks for watching guys.